pulling my trousers up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the end of the month haul. I am actually going to be fi I'm filming this early because if I get to the end of the month, it's not going to be filmed. So I'm filming it early and then it's going to be actually uploaded at the end of the month. So I do have stuff here and stuff behind me. As you can see, I've got my shelves are empty at the moment because I'm actually currently cleaning them. As you currently started seeing some of my collection series, which is still got a few to go. So let's get this one done. This is the monthly haul, and then I've got other bits to film as well. I'm so out of breath. Um, okay, so first of all, we're going to go with the manga books that I've bought. So I have got the Blackbird Volume 9. Um, I am actually loving these Blackbird books because that's why I've got Volume 10 as well. So they will go to with my book collection, but because you won't see these into my videos been uploaded, I won't actually add these actually into my collection series. Oh wait, what? Okay, let me start again. Let me just say that again. So basically, when I do my book collection, book collection, these won't be in there, as obviously this won't be uploaded till the end of the month. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go with that. So I've got these ones, and then I've got a Kanamega Kill number oh volume four and then volume five so these are actually pretty cost good amount and, and they actually did get these from ebay so i did get all these ones from ebay as well i'm enjoying things but i'm obviously what i'm doing is it's really for, weird for me um i don't know why i'm doing it it's just because it's probably more easier to do so i am doing um, throughout the next year, I will be sorting out what to be watching, what to do, because I need to be catching up on watching some episodes and TV and animes. So what I've done is, when I bought the DVDs, I will put them in my like my A list, my B list, the C list, you know, the alphabetical alphabet. So that's how I'm doing mine. So I'll be watching some DVDs, um, some animes, some Disney movies. It's going to be like that, and then obviously days when I'm not watching, I'll be reading books. So I've got nowhere else to put my room because it's a complete wow. I'm just gonna put them there for a minute, facing this way. Then also from um, eBay, I got let's do it this way. Um I got like eh there were some more of the now uh, that's now what you call it. So I've got the now 48, which has um atom atomic kittens. Hole again, hearsay, per pure and simple. Seven cover seven, never had a dream come true. Uh, Nelly Fortando, I'm like a bird. Um, Shaggy, Feet Ricardo, it wasn't me. Blah, blah, blah. I'll let you guys read that because I'll be here too long. Ouch. There's that one. Then I have the now 49, which has um, some Destiny Child, Gorilla. Oh, basement, you know, the you can see the glare on that one, sort of sorts of ones, and now 50. Um, it's got Kylie Muller, um, oh my god, can't get you out of my hair, Destiny, Child Boo Delicious. So, it's got that one as well, so that you can see my tripod. Ha -ha. So, that one as well. Um, so obviously, I haven't filmed the CD collection yet, so you won't obviously, these won't be put in there yet. Um, we've got the now 51. With the seed ones in there, um, Victoria Beckham, the Chemical Brothers, Nickelback, the now 52 thing, and then at the back as well, um, Sugar Babes, Scooter, Shakedown, Britney Spears, you know, uh, now 53. And then you got the Black like Ketchup, you know, the Ketchup song. <laughs> Sugar Babes, um, Britney Spears, U2, you know the whole thing. Then number 54, and that one. Ooh. Well, that was almost in a big fail. This one you got Justin, Justin Timberlake, Tim Blake, well, Girls But Allowed, Busted, S Club. You got quite a few of those ones. Uh, you've got the now 55, 
like seeing them things. The glare is really stupid. Uh, you got 50 Cent, Tom Craft, Lisa Mafia, Robbie Williams. <laughs> That's a lovely word. Then I got the 56. I love collecting like the collection as you can see. I've still got a ton of now what you call a lot. Um, so this one is got Black Eyed Peas, Emma, um, Elton John, you know, those ones. Then you got number 57. Woohoo! So I can get to the songs you must know later. So you got Britney Spears, still, you got The Girls Aloud, Busted, Joe's jo jo blah, 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 blah. VS, Joe's so Song, No, it's Stone. Number 58, and then obviously that one is this is the last one. You got the Shapeshifters, um, Outcast, Busted, Blue, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Okay, that's it says V Blood Sweat and Tears. The only song I know from that is BTS at the moment. Hmm, huh, I wonder what song that is. Well, I guess I'll find out on that one soon. So that's all the now CDs I've got so far. So my CD collection is going to be really big. But you won't see those ones until the next time I do my collection videos. Then the next uh, these are the DVDs I got from eBay as well. It's the last ever Airbender. I love this movie. I'm going to collect the series as well, which is going to be great. And then I have Bones, season 6. So there's actually 12 seasons of this, so I've got 12, 6 more to go. Yay. I'm actually looking forward to these crime ones. I'm actually getting, making sure I get um, season 1 of it, uh, the, the seasons that I want to get. Because I'm like, ah, oh, now I know I need to get that one. Um... I'll do those ones behind me in a minute. So the ones that's out in front, I got this um, bath from Wilco. So soak your travels away, the moisturising bath soak, uh, aloe vera and um, avocado. Soak on white and nourish. So it's a nice pink one. I do have, I did have a blue one, um, that, but I thought I saw this nice pink foamy one. So I was like, oh, that'd be nice. Like that. Then I got this one, that's, I think, I think I did get this one pound, maybe because I can't remember. So this is Honey and Green Tea Fragrance, Micellar World Water, Bath and Shower Gel. And it smells quite good, so I got my sister the, actually the other one. So that's a nice little shower gel. Then I got some more pens, because these ones are more actually delicate to write in for me, because they're, um... My handwriting is so terrible. There's, and then I got three more of these. So, because obviously I don't like them clear, I paint mine, I paint mine black. And obviously because I've got nail varnish now, um, I put my nail varnish in these. But I have been using the other one for my necklaces because I don't have a necklace holder. What just fell? Is that a piece of silicone? So I do have these. It's so messy my room and it's so annoying but hey ho. Um right, I did get this from Smithies. Uh, this is the Hud Train Dragon the Hidden World. So these are the new toys that's come out since because obviously next year. How to Train Dragon 3 is coming out guys. I am so freaking looking forward to it. You don't know how my hope my hopes is like oh, all the way to freaking thousand. So this is one of the new toys. Um I will be doing a just separate video on this. Um so this is like a mystery dragon, so you get two mystery dragons and an unseen one as well. So I'm going to be unboxing that on its own. And maybe do some more as well. What's it going to do? Also I got in Panard is some cake pop moulds with the sticks. So I love making cake pops, so making lo make loads of desserts for Christmas. Um, obviously when you see this. So basically for Christmas what I do, I cook desserts, I make stuff and cakes. So I can make Christmassy cake pops. But that's really fun. And I do love these moulds. Silicon moulds are the best to go for. I'm trying to get some stuff from Row for Sand. Mm, I just don't know. Right. And so if I get the other two fun cake pops that I've got out of my collection. So I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six new Funko pops because I just love collecting them now. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so if like I said, if you've got fun if you've got Fungo Pops and you have Stashypedia, 
I will leave my link to this, uh, my username to sync slash PDR. You can come follow me, see what pops I actually get and how much they're worth. See what's on my wish list. I have so much on my wish list at the moment. It's actually quite funny. And then obviously, if I then when I follow you, I can see what's on your wish list. I can see what your collection is and how many you get. At the moment, I think I'm at 50 something, two pops maybe, something like that. So the first pop I got is from Troll Hunters, which is the 471 Bulgar. And recently I haven't been able to find any of these. So these are the new Troll Hunter stuff. I love Troll Hunters. So I will let it, let, I'll open these ones since I don't think I don't think you've ever seen them very well because of the glare. This one is a freaking bad mid like big one. So look how big this guy is. It's not one of those like you know big pops that everyone's got, but this is like a big one. It's like detailed and everything, bulga. I saw Arg, but I was like, I want to get that one, but I think I'm going to save that for another day. For the January. Because obviously when it comes to, you know, the January sales. So, January sale might be a big one. It might not. We just don't see. Can you put the link? That font. I'm struggling so much just to do this stupid thing. Okay, look, I'm struggling. Okay, is it done? Is it done? Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. The next one I got is one from Harry Potter number 59, and this is Gildory Lockhart. I said his name wrong, I do apologise. So, what he looks, and that's some other ones you get at the back. So, I do actually have Jenny Weasley out of this collection, and um, you can also get him in the blue, this one. Which I found that out when I was doing my uh, Funko Pop um, thing. So here is um, Gildory, Gildory, something like that. So you, he does come in blue as well, but he's more a, um, what's it called? Okay, so the next one is from uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Crime or, uh, Crimes of Gildan Ward. I haven't had not I haven't watched this one yet, so hopefully I'll get the DVD of that and start watching that. So I have got, this is a special, a special, a special edition moon calf. So that's, I've never actually bought one that special edition. So you do have a, quite a few of these. I want to get the triple carbo. All the baby nifflers. All the baby nifflers that look so freaking cool. There's like a, the big ones and oh my god, it's so cute. But at the moment, I want to get Kuruma um, from Supernatural, um, Supernatural, from Naruto. So here is the Moon Calf. I love how they're doing these loads of Funko Pops now. Um, I want to let you guys know. Give me a clue. Not clue. Okay, how do they, how do they go back? How do they, how do you go back? Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay, there it goes. So guys, not give me a clue. Do you think I should collect the Fortnite Funko Pops or not? Give me a uh, give me like a thumbs up give, thumbs up this video if you want me to start collecting the um, the Fortnite ones, and then I will. If it gets I don't know fifty likes, I will start getting them. Next we have another uh, Troll Hunters, where's is Jim with the am amulet? Um, I want to get this out. So I'm going to get it out, but not actually get it out of the plastic. So there he goes, and you've got the little gnome that's with him. Though he's also in his armour one as well, but um, that I found. But I didn't get them as well because I like spending too much really, you know. Don't want to spend them too much. <laughs> Next one we have another one from Troll Hunters. This is Tommy Armoured, Armoured, and he's also got one of those um, gnomes. Next one as well, so... And it seems that this one here is the more expensive one than the other one of um, of Jim with the amulet. So this one's more expensive to get um, than the actually the other one. So some of these pops I got from Smithies or HMB or no, that's it. Yeah, those two at the moment. And then last one, I got an anime one for once. I don't ever collect an anime one, but this one was actually on sale. 
So this is from uh, the Sorrow of, of the End, the Vampire Region. region. This is Shin Shinoa. Oh. I do apologise, guys. I'm going to pronounce this so bloody wrong. This is Shinoa Hiraji. That one, I do apologise, guys. Oh, she has one with a scythe. Okay, that's so cool. So that's what she kind of looks like out of the box. So I see I'm the one who collects them all in the box all the time. I will not take them out. Oh, come on. Because if I do, and I lose the box, I'm never going to find out what the names are again. Okay, this is the next bag. So some of this stuff um, I didn't actually... Well, only one thing is from Boots, and that is the Slytherin um, eyeshadow pack. There we go. I just need to get the Hufflepuff, no. Ravenclaw, I need to get Ravenclaw, the blue one. So here's the Slytherin one, so I do like the shadow palettes. Shadow palettes. The eyeshadow palettes, so they're actually really good. I did actually use one the other day. It was pretty cool. And then, oh, that was a loud clap. My head's like getting chopped off. So anyway, the number one DVD is The Affinity Wars of Avengers. So now I can finally watch Avengers 1 to number 3. So this is interesting. Everyone said that I, everyone who's, I talked about it said it's a brilliant film. It's, it's different because obviously um, there was a, um, I think it was a, a meme or something. Uh, one of the first picture was like 2008. Of the first Iron Man, um, of something the first Marvel, and then 2018 with this, and I went, it's been eight like ten years of Marvel films. That's like really long, but really good. Anyway, the next one I got is Ballerina. Now I've seen a lot of clips for this, and I think it's a really good movie because it's obviously it's like ballet. Um, and so I thought I get it, and it's got Carly Rae Jackson in it as well. I don't know why I said that really weird, but. To tell you the truth, it seems to be a good movie and I really can't wait to watch it. The next movie is My Little Pony the Movie. So going back to the old little movies that I used to watch, I watch these. And this one has... It's interesting. So that will go into my thing. And the last one is Mamma Mia Here We Go Again. So number two of Mamma Mia. So how it all happened. So I really can't wait to read, read this one, watch this one. So I do have some new DVDs to watch and I can't wait. But oh, I am super excited because, okay. So this is the last part. I did get myself a poster. I think of Hatsuku Mitsuku. Oh, I just said that wrong. Hats, Hatsumiku. I can't open the freaking thing. There we go. So obviously you have seen a Naruto one, but because it's not on my wall anymore, I've actually put it on top of that wall. Because I wanted to get myself a new poster. And I got a bit on his girls. I'm going through them and I saw this one basically. Of Hatsumiku. So I'm either going to put that one, I don't know, maybe behind my DVDs so you could, could see it, or on this big wall near the Funko Pops. I haven't decided, but this is a nice little poster. I thought I'd treat myself to a poster this time. And then I can't believe I actually got these ones. I was go, go, every time I go into HMV, I'm always getting, going to the Disney ones, and I'm like, okay, I want this Disney, this Disney, and then I go to the anime one to see if I swap out some. I did, because I found two which was £10. £10 for these two anime DVDs. So now, which ones I got was Aria and the Scarlet of Ammo, which cost me £9.99. Um, so now I can be watching this one. I can't remember if this is only... Thing, but this is actually a pretty good decent one to watch i can't remember if this is only season this is season one but i'm not sure if there's season two or something and then the second one is i got blade and soul 
Now, when I first watched this, when it first came out and I first watched the first episode, I was really intrigued by it. So, now I've got it. I Because every time I go in there, the anime, the ones I want are like 25 quid, 20 quid. And I'm like, uh, I'm going to see what else it is. And I saw these ones, so I went, they're £9.99, £10 each. Yes, please. Thank you. And so basically, um... As I was going around, I was about to pay, my earphones fell out, and the customer was asking about BTS, and I was like, oh, I want to see this. Is she asking about the books, which I know where the books are, and then they are going, oh no, uh, the DVDs are just around here, and I'm going, the CDs? The, mm, uh, where are they? Hello, excuse me? So I've gone and followed, and I've seen this little, just a little two-section whole bit of a BTS bit, and I went, ooh. But the thing is though, they only have BTS, they didn't have any other K-pop, so I'll, I hopefully in the future they'll probably do a whole section full of just other K-pop section, you know? It would be cool. So I treated myself to a BTS CD. Ah! Oh my god, I can't wait to like listen to this later. So... I can't open it. So I am so excited. Wait, 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 wait. Mm, that is a bit. So I got the BTS CD. So this is the Face Yourself one. And uh, the songs are from 12. So you've got the intro, The Best of Me. I'm not too sure what that one is. DNA, Not Today, Mic Drop, Don't Leave Me, Go Go, Christmas Snow, Spring Date, Let Go, and then the Alpha. I, I love it. It's, it's different, you know. I think so this is the very first k-pop cd that i have ever owned and because i can never find any so this is really like a christmas present for myself really because my parents won't get them my family wouldn't get it so i am so happy to get this like my level of this is like so happy <laughs> so i have got this now so yay so that is the end of the monthly haul I know it wasn't that much great, of, I said like last month that it was going to be a nice big one, but hey ho, I had to do this early because I completely forgot that I wouldn't be able to do it in the next uh, any month. So, see you guys for next month of 2019, so bye bye guys.